Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso, and I know we've just gone through those beautiful sunrise photos, but this is something I love. And since it's a new week, which means we have a whole week of sunrise images to look forward to and to enjoy from our viewers. And we're heading up to the coast to East London this week as we chat with one of our regular sunrise contributors, Gary Orkamp. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Gary, good morning. Morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, listen, it's so lovely to finally put a voice to the beautiful images and a face to the beautiful sunrise photos that we get to enjoy every day. Great. You know, wow. Gary, I have to just say this. Every single time that we're reading the weather report, we see your name. Your name has really become one uh, we're very familiar with. When did you first start watching the show? I actually watched from the very first episode, to be honest. I saw uh, the promos of it, and then I just decided, let me watch this as something new and different. And I've kind of been hooked ever since. Oh, well, that's quite special from the very beginning. Now, what is it about the show that makes you keep coming back? Do you perhaps have a favorite moment or a favorite segment on the show? Um, your segments change all the time, but I do enjoy the cooking. Sometimes you would have, um, motor cars and sex and especially travel, things like that. Oh, yes, our espresso Frenchies. <laughs> Gary, and you would yes, wish... Yes, I remember them. <laughs> you would wish you were in studio today because it is World Baking Day and I still have that leftover orange loaf in my mouth. <laughs> so we are giving you all the inspiration, uh -huh. but obviously being a fan of the travel segments that you mentioned, did our interviews maybe inspire yes. you to travel before the pandemic hit? And maybe you can tell us about some of your favorite cities and maybe sites of interest that you have visited. They actually have. Um, I remember that lady from Travel Star. Um, she spoke a lot about... Um, going to Croatia and I think Zoe you've been to Istanbul I'm dying to go there so that's definitely on bucket list you're also going to Monte Carlo as soon as you can take the mask off yeah <laughs> Oh, well, that sounds very exciting. And definitely, if you can go to Istanbul, I would highly recommend it. Now, Gary, you have, you know, we have become very familiar with your beautiful sunrise photos that you share with us every single day. And you've been doing that over the years. What inspired you to start taking these beautiful <coughs> sunrise photos? Um, it was actually a combination of doing the park run, um, as a volunteer of the park running Kids Beach, we would actually have to do it early in the morning. We would have to arrive and start the park run at six so we can make sure that, you know, the, the actual park run is safe and clear of debris and everything. And then halfway through, the sun would actually come up because in winter we would start with the pitch dark. And then I never took my phone with, but eventually when I saw the sun rise, I was like, this is like rainy enough. So I started taking my phone with. And then when I got my notes ten, I just thought, let me try. And then I started sending the pictures in, and you guys were posting them like three, four, five times a week. And so that is quite nice. We love it. And I can't believe you take it with your phone. Right. It's incredible. I was just going to say, have you ever considered yes. doing this professionally? Because this looks absolutely amazing. I would actually hire you to take the pictures so I can upload it onto my social media. <laughs> and just make sure, like, hashtag, Gary did this. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wouldn't really do it for money, but I mean, I, I would do it for friends. But I, I think to do it professionally, then you would have to go and do like the big money with the lenses and all of that. It becomes a real sport at the end of the day. Well, Gary, you've been a great sport. It was so great chatting to you, and we hope you have a beautiful morning. Okay, great. Same to you guys. There we go. That's one of our regulars, Gary Orkham, that always sends through the most incredible sunrise photos. And it really is a great way to get to know him a little bit better. And we really enjoy all the beautiful sunrise pictures that we receive from each and every one of you. And we can't wait to see more. So if you do have one you'd love to share, please head on over to the Expresso Facebook page and share your sunrise photos with us.